Hi everyone, it's Marina. I am here to do a journal share with you. This is a sewing journal that I made. Um, it is a, one of a few that I've made. It took me forever to get these done. I was actually working on them probably feels like a month and a half or so. Um, I couldn't get a lot done at a time because I didn't have the energy. So um, I kind of just did a little bit of time for over a stretch of time. And I finally got done. So um, this one is a 6x4. And I used a lot of my lighter colors and um, just laces and trims. And um, I put a doily here. This is just stuff that I had in my stash and hadn't used for a while, stuff that had been gifted to me, stuff I purchased, stuff that I've been wanting to use. So, um, The base for the journal is uh, craft text. I wanted it to uh, not be flimsy, if that makes sense. I feel like if I would have just made it fabric, it would be way too flimsy and I didn't want that and I didn't want it to scrunch up at all. So I sewed it all onto some craft text, which I really do like how it turned out. So, um, I sewed all the strips on, and then, so this was the pocket, I had it flipped out, so it was a lot longer, um, but when I was finished, I just folded this part up and sewed it down right here. So, I had a pocket. I did a lot of learning, <laughs> um, a lot over this process, so, um, I hope you guys enjoy the journal, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I just have some tags here, uh, this is some fabric from my stash. Um, I think this was actually gifted to me. Thank you. I think this is from Tamara. Thank you, Tamara. And I just have random stuff that I've printed off and had in my stash for a long time. I actually just cleaned up my craft room and went through some stuff, so <laughs> I have found a lot of stuff I've been missing. Um, I layered on some images here, some torn up paper, and then, then this is, a. Uh, in the back is parchment paper. So that just tucks in there. And this opens up. I didn't want to glue it down. I, I figured, I guess I could have glued it down, but I didn't want to. Kind of like having all that extra space to work with. And I guess fuss around with too. And this is deli paper. And I made another little torn slip book here. So it's got some deli pages, some of deli pages. And then in the back I have just a note, a uh, stamp. And the lace over the top. And the lace I got from Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. This is from a kit, or not a kit, a purchase that I made from her for, uh, for laces. So. Um, this is one of the pages that also came in Sherry's box, and down here, um, some more laces. This is one. Of, this one is mine, the blue one in the back. And a lot of the ones that she sent me are actually really stretchable, and I super love that. I really do. And so I just have some images that I stuck in here, and then this is a little envelope that I folded. Sorry. got some little journey cards in there. That folds back up. There we go. I guess I really didn't need to put this on here, but I thought it'd be really cute. I mean, it stays closed on its own. But I was, I don't know, going through a twine phase. I really wanted to use my twine. Um, some more pockets and extra stuff. Put some lace on down here. Did the uh, double layering of the lace. Um, this lace I got from Sherry, and it's got some flowers on it. It's really pretty, and I layered over some of my own. And it is a half pocket. There we go. 
need some more lace down here. And then, I've never done this before, but I keep seeing it, so I decided to try it. And I really like it. It's got a little, I just cut out some little hearts, and I put them on here in the center. For some reason, this really amuses me. But I like it. <laughs> so, I have a double pocket here with the glassing back that I altered. I painted on it. Um, and I got this idea from Crafty Irina. Hi, Irene. And I will put a link for this down below. She did a whole bunch of altered glassing bags. And I did both kinds. It's just this was the one that I ended up putting in here. And the other ones have like holiday themes. So you just paint over and put some, put a stamp on there when it dries. And it looks so pretty. And then I put some lace down here. And here's the other side of that pocket. And I have a craft bag. I just put the tag in there. And this is a deli page. I just have extras in there. And this one I did some, I guess you call it collaging. I did a little bit of collaging. And I just layered it um, with some parchment paper. And I love how loud that is. And then some lace and some torn mixed media paper. I have a tag and some flower ephemera. And then this is one of the pages, the dress form pages, or the instructions, I can't remember, that I got from Sherry. And some tags. Another uh, layered pocket here. And extra bits. And I left a lot of my... Um, sewing stuff just dangling. I really like how it looks. It's really appealing. And this page. And the back. I have some tags, ephemera, and just a little bit of extra stuff in there. So lots of tags and tuck spots and pockets and uh, a lot of fun stuff to do in here. I kind of loaded it. Um, I didn't want to make them too chunky, but I did want to. I w did want to embellish on these um, journals, which I haven't done for a really long time. It's embellished, so I hope you guys enjoyed the journal flip through. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you guys next time. And hopefully, I will get better at this journal sewing thing. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.